Okay, I'm sorry, I just, I have to show this before I tear it down. Just, I built this for like a small scene, but it's just, it's so awesome. Like, it's just a cave entrance. Isn't that awesome? It's like the figures are running across there and go inside. It, it's just like, oh, it is so cool. And that's practically it. We got other things to do though, so. Let's get started. My week starts right now. Hello everybody, I am in the car, I'm about to take off, I'm heading out to go to something called a social media boot camp, hosted by an old friend of mine from back in the days when I went to a school called Specs Howard School of Media Arts, so we're going to head out there to Owasso, it's a good full hour and a half two hour drive so I'm gonna head out a little bit early and get there see my friend see what he and uh, there's another co-host as well and see what they're teaching and have some fun so let's get going Boom. so okay, here I am in the conference center you should be expecting such and such as many people I was the first one here haha they make that claim but Casey arrived just after me setting up stuff he just went out for a second. It's really, really good to see him. Yeah. Like since we graduated Specs, which was like what, 2009? That was early. It was really around this time through 2009. I saw him. So cool to see him. Really cool to see him. Glad he's being successful in the field that he's getting into. Keep him busy. It's awesome. It's filling up. Peoples. We're just about ready. What time is it? It's about less than 10 to 7. So we're going to start with 10 minutes or so. There he is. There he is, Casey. Quick warning for the social media bootcamp videos that I filmed. I was using a camera that wasn't mine, and basically I went into battle with a video camera that I had not pre-programmed to do the lighting and everything, so everything appears a little bit dark, a little bit yellow. I apologize for that. Audio is still great, so I am showing a little bit of the clips, but not the whole, I mean, obviously not the whole thing. Can't do another eight minutes. But just a couple of clips of both the speakers. Enjoy, and... Enjoy the rest of the video. Good to see a lot of faces I know, a lot of faces I don't know, which is a good thing. It's a very good thing. First of all, I just want to welcome you all to a uh, first of its kind event here in Owasso, at least that we know of. But uh, I'm DJ Chewy. This is Erica Haney of Why Not Designs. And we're here to help you grow and promote your business, uh, whether you own it or if you are in charge of the social media posting for your business. All right, so you might be asking yourself, why is social media marketing so important to your business, your small business? Everybody here represents a business in a small manner. How do you get your business noticed in the social media spectrum without spending all that money? And the basic answer to that is, I get my content liked, shared, commented on. So what I'm doing essentially is creating content, like we said in the agenda, creating content that is going to reach people. So by using all that content to reach people, we essentially build an audience that is going to interact with our business. So uh, I know I, I talked to a gentleman here who's uh, doing, a, doing, an, doing an online uh, short video series. So how do you get more people to watch? Well, you interact with them. You figure out what they want, how you can cater towards that. That's essentially what we're getting into. Anyway, all of this comes together 
and it, it creates a really strong kind of a domino effect, or what we call in the industry mostly a ripple effect. So the ripple effect is how social media gets you, basically. So if you start in the middle and you're a business and you promote something on your page, it hits all the people that have liked your page or involved your page or followed your page. These are the people that actually want to see your content, they use your business regularly, or they're really interested in what you have to offer. Then if they like something, share something, comment on something, it hits their Facebook pages. So all of their friends are now seeing it. And then they like it or share it again, and it keeps going out like a ripple effect. So this is how you hit a reach. Um, how algorithms work on Facebook, they use this ripple effect. They have to be able to track what's going on and promote it on somebody else's page. Now say I post something on my page and I only have 100 followers. Facebook's algorithms, unfortunately, aren't gonna hit all 100 people that are liking your page. So it uses this format in order to hit more people. That's why, Casey, if you wanna give them some of your reach levels when you post something. Yeah, um, it's contingent upon what I post, but um, so last week I posted a, a short video, um, I think like a minute. Um, I have 1,300, 97 likes on my page, a decent sizable amount, but my reach level was 6,587, which is fourfold, almost fivefold over what my actual amount of people who like my page are. Right, which means that's how 6,000 people is how many people actually saw it because people were engaging and it just kept going out in a ripple. Here in the city. There are a lot of people there, as you can see. Not here. So I'd say that the event was successful. Okay, I'm in the car, about to head home from that little seminar. Yeah, and it was great. It was awesome. Almost out of battery because they recorded nearly that whole thing. So I'll just see you. I'm gonna get home. Later.